Today's video we are going to determine how much profits we can combine by doing both solo dungeons and open world mobs at the same time. I'm going to change my tax rate to 100% for this test. I'm the only person in this guild. Uh, I'm the only one. Members one out of one, so it's okay. And all of the silver I pick up will go into this treasury, which we will find out at the end of the video. I'm starting today at uh, 4,337 faction points. And uh, we're not calculating fame. Uh, I'm, I don't have auto respect on. I don't have my satchel on. For the solo dungeons, I will be running a light crossbow, crypt candle, specter jacket, specter hood, royal sandals, and Thedford cape build with the cabbage soup to keep us going. In open world, we will switch to spike gauntlet to one shot packs. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to roam around and kill open world mobs until we find a dungeon, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to the spike gauntlets for now. And if we see a bunch of uh, open world mobs, we'll smash them, pick up the loot, whatever. And if we find a solo dungeon, there's a solo dungeon, so I'm swapping back to that. And we're going to go ahead and go in and get started. Now, I'm using the crossbow because it is quick, it allows me to move fast, it kills mobs very quickly. The Spectre Jacket combined with the Crypt Candle pretty much does all the work, so here we go. Uh, we're just going to turn on the Spectre Jacket and everything will die and melt very, very quickly. The only loot we're really going to be getting from this, I completely missed that shot. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot him. Burn these two. And I'm I'm already off to kind of a slow start. I should have really just skipped the mobs on the right, but I don't know why. I just wanted to shoot them. Because why, why not? You know, why not shoot them, right? Go ahead and use our cape. Take him out. There we go, and we're just moving right along. I can go ahead and get my cooldown back for the armor. And no, I'm not properly stacking my passives. It's fine. It's totally fine. I guess I can do it on the bear fight here. So double shot into E. Shoot her. Throw cattle chops to run faster. Kill those two. Cape that one. You know, it's just, you get into a little pattern, a little habit, right? and uh, go ahead and activate our Spectre Jacket along with our boots so that the Spectre Jacket gets that damage buff boost. And that's why we do it. Go ahead and kill Wizard there. Kill Giant. All right, again, I didn't have to clear this whole room. I could have just ran to the left and skipped most of them, but I don't know. I, I was just feeling like killing them. That's just what we do. All right, and the first floor is a complete dud, which means we wasted, what, two minutes? So, generally, you really don't want to uh, have dungeons where there's no bosses. And, uh, yeah. So, we're on floor two now. I wish they would really change, like, the loot system with the dungeons. Like, if there's no boss on the first floor, you should at least get a purple chest on the second floor. Or something like that. It would be pretty cool. But, uh, you know, that's why it's a random dungeon. You never know what you're going to get. It could be good. It could be bad. Just got to roll with it and see what happens. Go ahead and shoot that. Kill those two. Take those out. Daily uh, Tome is unlocked. Go ahead and claim that. 10,000 fame in the books. That's literally what it is. It's a book of 10,000 fame. <laughs> Alright, so our, uh, our that's a Tome chest? I don't need to engage that. I don't need Tome chest. That's 2,000 to maybe 5,000 fame in that chest. I don't need it. I don't care. I, am, I can just save time and not even bother fighting that boss entirely. Go ahead and take out the... The buff mommy, the Keeper Earth child, likes to buff her, you know, her family with powerful attacks and more HP. So definitely don't want to let those live, don't want to let them cast their buffs. And here we go, activate Spectre Jacket, jump on the giant here. Really should focus the Axe Lady, but there we go, took them all out relatively quick. And uh, it looks like it's a blue chest dungeon, unfortunately for us. Uh, so not, not the best at all, really. Oh well, um, hopefully we will uh, find something better in the next dungeon. Now there's a, a few things that we want from the solo dungeons, okay? Obviously we want bosses for loot, but we also want a fame or a silver fountain. And once we get one of those, we abandon the dungeon immediately, which will allow us to farm the open world much more profitable than normal. And unfortunately for me, I, I don't have the area I'm in mapped out. I don't have MS Paint open, I don't have all the clusters because the servers restarted an hour ago and I just I just don't feel like it. So two, three, double, double, hit the fire, stand it on the boss, and he's just gonna melt. A little bit a little bit of a slower kill than I would like, but uh, we made four thousand. 
which sucks. We made 4,000 silver in five minutes. It's terrible, absolutely awful. Uh, that is an, a, a really bad start to this run, but that's okay. That is fine because uh, we're back in the open world now. As soon as I mount up, I'm switching to the spike gauntlets. There we go. And uh, that looks like a purple enchanted mob, but that's a tier three mob. It can't be enchanted, so I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I'm not stopping for single mobs uh, on the open world unless I have a fountain buff. Otherwise, I've got to find, you know, more solo dungeons to plunder. That's that's the goal. We enter the solo dungeon, we get the... <laughs> the oh, what is that? The fountains? The buff fountains? That is a common wisp. We're not jumping into wisps either because uh, it takes away our faction flag. And uh, let's be honest, the mists kind of suck. There's really no reason to go into them. Uh, taking a little bit of time here to find a solo dungeon, unfortunately, and that's just part of the course sometimes. I am playing at the worst possible time. I am playing Daring Prime Time, and I'm playing... Now, Enchanted Mobs we will absolutely stop for. Uh, I'm playing Daring Prime Time and on a weekend, so this is like the worst possible outcome. Uh, and there we go. We got uh, 1,420 silver from that, so not too bad. You know, <laughs> like that one open world mob was like one third of our total dungeon... Uh, silver so far, which is that's just how you got to think about these things. That's just how it is Okay, looking for more solo dungeons. Let's go. We're just gonna ride around We're not doing group dungeons We are doing solo dungeons and open world mobs in today's video And yeah, you could combine a solo dungeon when you get one of those fountains you jump into a group dungeon And yeah, you can earn a little bit from there, but because of the slow speed it takes to clear the group dungeons uh, It's not really recommended and I have ran myself into a corner, which is uh, again not good that's fine, though. This is taking a very long time to find a solo dungeon. What is up? Where are the solo dungeons? Why is that guy just fishing out in the middle of nowhere? There's no there's no little fishy pools in that pond. Come on, now. Get, just jump into a mist if you're going to fish, man. Well, I guess he should have watched a video on that. Okay, here's a nice pool. So we'll go ahead and grab all these. We even got a little tiger, a little, little cougar. And bonk. Wow, that guy dodged death, but that's okay because we just uh, Liu Kang kick him in the chin and uh, down he goes. Miss these two also. I'm going to go ahead and grab them just because they're part of the group. And look at that, 3k loot from a knight's boot. Not not terrible, I guess. Looking for solo dungeons. I probably passed one and didn't even notice because it's been a long time and my eyes are untrained. But we're, uh, there's silver on the ground. I'm just going to yoink it because why not? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you yoink it? It's only 175. Not really worth it for me, but maybe it's worth it for somebody out there. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. Guys, we're just trying to do some solo dungeons, and we can't find any because they're all corrupted dungeons, and we can't jump into a corrupted. That would be bad, because uh, we would just break our gear, our 8.3. So, here we go. B nice, juicy, big pull here. Go ahead and grab these. I'm going to probably lose uh, or de-aggro a few of them. That's fine. Let them hit me. And bonk. Grab all that silver. I'll just despawn my mount. It's fine. I don't think anyone from another faction... And my mount died, apparently, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> but there's a solo dungeon, so it doesn't matter. Worked out in the end. Go ahead and swap to our, our uh, you know, our solo dungeon weaponry. And let's begin. Hopefully this one's got a nice fountain so we can, uh, you know, milk the open world for more silver. There we go. Down that lady goes. And let's get started here. Crank up the heat. And you can see we just deal tons of damage. Now, here's a cool thing. We actually got a... The other dungeon, we didn't get a single buff buff fountain, okay? But we're going to hopefully get a retina. Aww. It's the worst possible buff. This is this is so far the worst possible run, you know? And I like to show the worst possible runs uh, because it's more realistic that way, you know? That way Reddit can't be like, he's cherry-picking his footage, bro. It's like, I don't cherry-pick my footage. And yes, I know there's silver over there. I don't need to pick up every drop of silver. I don't know why, uh, you know, called silver something that would be in liquid form, but... It's, it's whatever. I don't know why I used that either, because it had four seconds left on cooldown. I just like to push the buttons, okay? Don't get mad at me because I like to push the buttons, all right? You know, you ever go to an arcade and they have a pinball machine and you just want to push the button so you can hear the clickety-clink of the pinball machine, but then, uh, like, some random wagey that works there just gets mad at you and tells you, uh, you're not playing it correctly, and then they, uh, you know, basically imply that uh, you shouldn't be mashing the pinball buttons, but it's like, I don't care if I win or lose or get a high score on pinball. I just want to hear the clickety-clack of, the, of the, the flippers, right? But, you know, that's just how it is. That's just how things are. So, uh, 
Yeah, boo to any arcade place that tells you how to play pinball. Like, bro, I don't care. I'm not, I don't play pinball to make money. I'm not going to be a professional eSport player in pinball. So why the hell do, do I care if I'm winning or losing? I just, I, I just want to, you know, entertain my, my simple brain with the clickety clacks, okay? Maybe I've got a song stuck in my head and I want to push the pinball flippers to mimic the song that's in my head or something, you know? Maybe I just got done playing a rousing, you know, round of DDR, Dance Dance Revolution, and uh, I still have that rhythm gamer in me that wants to just hit things to a beat. You know, instead of my feet, it would be pinball flippers instead. I don't know why I'm ranting about pinball, but here you, here you go. You tuned in for the video, you chose this, and here, here we are. Got a nice little blue chest here. It's gonna be it's gonna have several million. I know it. This is a gambler's fallacy where you're sitting in a casino and you, you spin the wheel and it, and it has six thousand. Um <laughs> of course it did. But uh you're like, oh the the next the next spin, it's gonna be a big one. The next spin, the next spin. And then before you know it, you've blown through your entire life savings at a casino and you're broke. And now <laughs> you're forced to do YouTube videos for Albion Online. Now, that's not my story. I am a very responsible gambler. I don't play slots anyway, like, unless I'm, like, with people who that's all they play. And then I'll just kind of hang out and maybe play a little bit. Like, the really low, cheap ones. Like, like one penny a spin, you know, or something. <laughs> okay? Um, but no, no. If you're going to gamble, you got to play Texas Hold'em. you got to play poker. you got to play some... You know, you gotta play something fun and something involved with a little bit of skill and not complete random luck. And a lot of casinos, believe it or not, they, um... It's not even really random chance. Ooh, red buff, let's go. Red buff makes this so overpowered because I just turn this on, you know, and just everybody dies. Just give them a little tickle of the heat and down they go. Look at that, one-shotted. We one-shotted a medium-sized monster. We can just run past everything with our crazy buffs. See, look at this is how the game is meant to be played, okay? I missed my Caltrop there. The Caltrop will increase my run speed, and in a future patch, it will increase my run speed even further beyond. You know, just for you Dragon Ball Z fans out there. Every time I hear the phrase, even further beyond, it's just immediately into Dragon Ball Z. That's just how it is. I want to show you the raw power of this build. Okay, we turn this on, and we run up to the boss, and we just nuke the hell out of him with our red buff. Look at how much damage. He does, He melted immediately, giving us a 7,000 chest. Again, terrible, terrible chests, um, but that's just how it is, okay? And now we're going to go back to the surface world with a little bit of this red buff left. Only two seconds, unfortunately. Not enough time to even hop on our mount. But I see some mobs over here to my left, so we got our, our gauntlets out, and we're going to not aggro them because I have a shield. Let me on my mount so I can grab your sisters and, well, I guess it's just your sisters. Assuming you're all in the same family. Maybe you're having, like, like these these little nomads are just having a nice little cookout. And I just murdered murdered them all. Why did I murder them? They were just, they were just chilling. They're just camping. What right do I have to run up to them and just bash their faces in with a spiked gauntlet, man? I mean, they'll come back to life. That's how this game works. That's how things are now. I mean, another solo dungeon. Let's, let's roll. I like how I can put that on as I channel the dungeon, but I can't... I don't know. It doesn't interrupt it, so whatever. Alright, we got first thing at Morgana Knight. There's also another gambler's fallacy of people that are like, Bro, depending on how strong the mob is when you... F like, the very first mob that guards the entrance, that's how good your dungeon's gonna be. And it's like, no, that has nothing to do with anything. I've run thousands and thousands of dungeons. And that's never been the case. I've even tried documenting it because I thought the same thing at one point. I'm like, well, if it's a crappy mob guarding the entrance, is the dungeon gun going to be crappy? And I did thousands and thousands of tests, and uh, the test came back inconclusive. There is, there is no, <laughs> there is, there is no, um, you're not going to get more loot because the monster at the start is, is stronger or, you know, higher leveled or rarer. Okay, that's just not how it works. It's just randomly generated. And that lady has something in her in her tummy, a single rune. So I've wasted time picking that up. I wish you could see the loot before running over to loot it, but I guess that would um, that would dispel a little bit of the mystique, you know. Like if you could inspect treasure bags without you know running over and grabbing them, it would ruin the surprise. People would just be like, "Oh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna loot that. That's gross." And we have, uh, looks like, possibly purple boss, possibly green, possibly duo, 
Or it could be a tome boss. I don't know, but let's find out. It's a double, double caster boss. Very cool. Blue chest, not bad. And they're gonna die immediately. That's why this build's so cool, because they just die immediately. Look at that, we got 14k out of this chest. Not not the greatest, but hey, we haven't hit, hit a jackpot yet. It's right around the corner, boys. We're gonna get there soon. Just you wait and see. <laughs> Go ahead and double tap those guys, turn on the heat, melt, melt the big boy there guarding the doorway. And, uh, you know what? Why can't we just, like, enlist? Why can't I join the Morgana, like, cultist club, you know? Instead of letting me join, like, what if an MMORPG did that? For all the solo players out there who are antisocial and don't fit in with anyone like me? Uh, what if instead of, you know, having a gaming guild with people, uh, for all the, all the people like me, you could join a guild that's NPCs? Like, oh, I'm part of the Morgana Knight guild, you know? And then suddenly all the Morganas around the map are friendly. And then when someone's trying to do a Morgana dungeon, I can come defend the dungeon. As if I was in an actual guild with real friends. You know, wouldn't that be cool? Okay, I know that's just factions. That's just factions in a nutshell. Oh, I'm part of the Alliance, so I defend the human cities. Yes, I know that's exactly what that is. And why, you know, why can't RPGs do that, man? Why you gotta force me to try to be social with people? Why you gotta try to do all this weird stuff? All right, let's go down here. This could be a purple boss. Could be. It, uh, I'll do it. I'll, it's a tome chest. I don't want the tome chest. But, I mean, it takes seconds to kill him. And this is probably like 70k, maybe. Let's see. This is... T Ooh, 20! What, did they nerf it? Uh, dude, that was only 20,000 fame. That's nothing. That is a waste. Whatever. That sucked. That was disappointing. Frickin' Tome Chat. Every- I only see them when I open my recording software to make a video. I swear. It's like it- it's like the game knows. Hey look, that's another gambler's fallacy, right? Or whatever the word is. I don't know words anymore. I just- over- over the years, guys, you may not realize this now, but right now, your brain is- is very wrinkly. It's very moist. It's very good working for you. When you get older, your brain no worky good. Your brain go, it turns to mush. It's too moist. It goes mushy mush. And then you become just like me. That's right. You're destined to become me in 10 to 15 years. There's no avoiding it. Just accept your fate and uh, and I'll help you through it. And then who knows what we will evolve into after that, assuming we survive. You know, there's no guarantee that we're going to live another 10 years, right? There's really no guarantee. Let's see, what kind of boss we got here? Is this a blue chest? It's uh, it's probably just the lady in the middle with the four ravens surrounding her. Maybe? That's what it, it could be? I don't think it's... Yeah, it's just a blue chest boss, isn't it? Let's see, yeah. Lady was surrounded by, n by other wizard ladies. Just go ahead and nuke them. Run up, kill this one. There we go. Boss down. We got 5k. <laughs> Oh, 5k, man. That's it. That's all we get. Bing! Is there a way to turn off that sound? Uh, because I know, like, if you're watching me... That was my game, by the way. If you're watching me and you hear that sound, and uh, you think it came from your game and not from the video, but yeah. That's, that's whatever, man. Okay, let's find us another solo dungeon. And maybe... Maybe... Oh, that's a nice pool. Is there any more up there? Kinda? I don't want that guy stealing it. No steely. No steely my kills. We'll just leave that with- Oh, there is a solo dungeon right there. Let's go. Stop chasing me, cougar. Stop it. This guy did not quit, and now he gets the bonky bonks. And switch, and switch. There we go, we did it just in time, before zoning in. And now we have less cooldown. Alright. See, now this is a little twerpy mob. Little, little, just a little will-o'-wisp. Hey, wait! Are we supposed to be saving the wisps? What happened? Did someone mess- Why are the wisps outside all pretty and sparkly and the ones in here are all translucent and sad looking, huh? What's up with that? And why are they- Why are they trying to kill us? Why are the- Why are the ugly wisps trying to kill us and the- The pretty ones trying to like get us to help them? Isn't that a little sus? That's a little sus among us. Alright, the game already had wisps. Why are we having more wisps? You know, maybe- Maybe turn them into little- I don't know, puppy dogs that you gotta rescue instead. Imagine that, you would get all the girl gamers. All the girl gamers would 
stop playing League of Legends and instead they would play this because they could save puppy dogs. All right, or I don't know. I just, I like to, you know, just, just hear me out here, man. Like that, <laughs> jeez. You know, there's a, there's a whole cast of gamers. They will only play a game if girls also play it. That's what Apex Legends is. That's what Overwatch is. And uh, that's what League of Legends was whenever I first started playing it. I, I didn't care for League of Legends until, oh, fe female co-worker plays the video game? Oh my god, I gotta play video game too. I was so blue-pilled back in the day, back in my early years. That was like, I didn't even see, it was like at least 2k. 2k off that chest. Absolutely garbage. And refresh our armor ability. Yes, indeed. Let's continue on. I feel I feel good about this dungeon. I feel like it's got a nice fountain we can um, grab and then go farm open world mobs and get a nice, nice silver total. I feel good about it. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if my prophecy comes true. Am I, am I truly a seer? Do I have mystical, uh, future telling abilities? You know, will I ever be a successful YouTuber that hits 100k subs and has a an adoring fan base that loves me and my videos, allowing me to maybe live a normal life that isn't in deep, deep poverty. We'll see. We'll find out eventually. Won't we? Or, you know, you know, I remember when YouTube was very young. There was one YouTuber I followed. He was a GameStop employee. And no, I'm not talking about... Uh, this is a really old, old YouTuber. It's not, not, the, not the one that complains about, like, people being underpaid and stuff. Um, Camelot331. I'm not talking about Camelot331. I'm talking about someone way before his time. I'm talking like 2008, 2009. He was just a GameStop employee and uh, what happened was is he um he would just make videos about his day at GameStop and about video games in general. And he he never got more than like 60,000 subscribers cuz he quit, you know, the platform. And you know, back then 60,000 subscribers was actually quite a bit. Whereas now not so much cuz you know, now everyone uses YouTube, but back then not a lot of people did. And he would just talk about his day, and then one day, uh, a customer got mad about him not able to, like, do a refund or something, and the customer just decked him in the face, and he just, he didn't do anything about it, you know, he, he told the guy to leave, and he did. And then, um, like, his job wanted to keep him there to make him work or something, like, overtime after he had been assaulted by the customer, and... It just got bad eventually. Oh, that, there we go. We got like 20, at least over 20,000 in that chest. I didn't check it. Sorry, guys, but because I was busy talking. And eventually he got sick of video games and he got sick of GameStop. And uh, then he, you know, he just, uh, this was back before like YouTube was monetizable anyway. But yeah, he just quit YouTube and it's like sad day. I still remember that channel, man. I still go check it every once in a while, see what he's doing. You know, see if he ever came back. He never did. And uh, yeah, there you go, man. Just, uh, you know, I miss all the old people that made videos back in the day, even before YouTube. Like, Warcraft movies had so many cool, uh, like, people that made videos, and now they just... I guess they have real lives or something. They, they can't be bothered to make videos. Am I behind the times? Wait, and, and yes, people are gonna be like, Oh, you should've, you should've done crypto. And, like, I don't believe in that stuff, dude. I don't believe in any of that crypto nonsense. It, if I can't go buy a burger with it in real life, then it's not real money. And also, as far as investments go, the way I think of investments, and and yeah, I know there's a lot of smart people that watch my channel, and, and they're gonna just, like, hate me for it, and think I'm stupid, and yeah, maybe I am, but here, when I think of an investment, I don't think of it, can it make me more money? I think of, how can my money grow it? Which I don't invest, because I don't have money to invest, <laughs> let's be real. Um, <laughs> but, uh, like, say I wanted to invest in a company, right, and the company makes baby food. Well, I would only invest in it if I cared about feeding babies, okay? You know, and uh, I wanted to see more babies be fed in a more efficient and better better way. Otherwise, why the hell would I invest? Why would I give some other company money? Like, yeah, ooh, if they succeed, I, I, get, I succeed too. Yeah, that's great. But why would I give money to a company I don't believe in their vision, right? Like, this company feeds babies. Well, I'm never going to have kids. I don't know any babies personally, so I don't care if they get fed or not and uh, yeah someone's gonna clip that out of context and call me an absolute monster it's gonna be front page of reddit this youtuber hates babies and does, wants them to starve <laughs> right and you know, you know the old andrew tate treatment uh, and uh, you know maybe maybe that's true whatever all right <laughs> but the point is uh is that 
what if I, you know, instead gave my money to a company in the hopes that it grows and I do get something back for it, but it's something that I enjoy. Like, like say I really enjoy eating crunchy beef tacos, and there's a company that just happens to serve crunchy beef tacos. So I, you know, you know, I hypothetically would support them and be like, hey, here's my investment, and they're like, okay, here's your dividends and stocks or or whatever you get when you invest in companies. I don't know because I'm too poor to invest, but. Uh, and then, over the years, I'm like, you know what? This taco company did really well, and it's all because of me. And yes, it's not all because of me. I know, I know. It's because of other investors and their business strategy and stuff like that. But hear me out, right? So you invest in the taco company, and then suddenly the taco company does something bad. They say, oh, we don't like gamers. We don't want gamers eating our tacos. Gamers bad. And I'm like, well, I'm to uninvest and yoink my money out of there, right? You know, rather than, oh, but why would you do that when this company is, is on the rise? Gamers are bad. And because taco companies say gamers bad, that means you make more money. And it's like, it's not about the money. It's about... <laughs> it's about sending a message. It's about... Why would I invest in a company that doesn't like me as a person or me as a as a product or or you know whatever they don't they don't consider me right? Like I would be fine if I invested in a company and it made me almost no money, but it's a product I enjoy, it's a product I like, it's a company I like, and it's a company that likes and appreciates me. That's how I see investing, and I know that's not the way to get rich or successful, but it's the way that people should do things because why would why should you support things that you? don't agree with just what for more money so you can continue to live how about why let things continue to exist that um are detrimental to 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 you right like say this taco company starts rallying against gamers right they're like all gamers are bad we must eradicate games and gamers entirely they should not be allowed to play their games Oh, here we go. Oh, dang, it's just a green chest. I'm gonna use it, because I didn't want to wait two seconds. I know, I know. Whatever, it's fine. There's a guy in here! What? There's an invader! Someone's invading my solo dungeon, and it's a Boltcaster chat. Hell yeah, dude. Well, I'm the evolved version of Boltcaster, so you can either leave, or I can run to the boss. Dude, I've, I have not had someone invade my dungeon in years. That's crazy. And he says big fan in the English chat and not the say chat or the local chat. Oopsies. But hey, I still read it. He's a big fan. Obviously he is because he's using the proper build. You know, good on him. But, uh, you know. <laughs> I've got the, uh, I've got the super- Hey, congrats on being in the, the video. What is your name again? Your name is Go King Crow KK. <laughs> Congrats on, uh, on invading the dungeon, bro. Like, that would be pretty wild, right? You watch a YouTuber all day. You know, I've never... There's some YouTubers I've just never seen in the wild. I have never once witnessed Big Lips McGee anywhere, ever. And I... Uh, maybe he's always in the black zone. I don't know. But I've never seen the dude. It's like he doesn't exist. I've seen everyone else. I've seen every single other YouTuber and streamer in the wild. Um, <laughs> but but never him. He's, he's eluded me this whole time. He is a mystery. He is an enigma. Does he truly exist? Is he real? Is he like birds? You know birds are just surveillance drones, right? <laughs> in life, you torture Albion. Uh, oh, in death, you feed it. Except this guy, if this guy can't kill me, he just makes me kneel down for 10 seconds and hurts my repair bill. Uh, that's 9k in that chest. Again, we're not getting we're not getting any good results here. This is a uh, we're about 30 minutes in now. About. So I'll, I'll check our results here, and uh, I can't check how much loot we got because I got too much crap in my inventory, but as far as picked up silver, 22,000 in 30 minutes for no risk, no loss, that's not terrible, guys. I mean, it's not that good either, let's, let's be real. I haven't gotten a silver freaking thingy yet. That was my, that was me, that little ding-dong noise was me, okay. Uh, don't check your game for your guild mates or your friend or your girlfriend or... Or the girl you're stalking from school who happens to play Albion and you added her to your friends list. She doesn't know who you are and uh, you, you stare at her all day at school and, and she knows it. But she, you you kind of like put in your brain that she doesn't know it. But she's actually with Chad from the football team. Even though Chad doesn't play Albion and you do. And you hope one day that maybe you can win her over by being really good at Albion. So you watch me on YouTube so that you can learn all the tricks. 
and that maybe one day you'll sit next to her at lunch, and then you'll tell her, well, I learned this from Soul Binge, and then she will gasp, and she will recoil in horror at the name Soul Binge. And then she will be like, how dare you watch him? Haven't you ever seen a Reddit post about him? He is a monster. And then you'll realize that you dodged a bullet. Uh, and that she wasn't worth your time at all. Ooh, boss. <laughs> and uh, and you, and then you'll be like, Swole Binge, thank you so much. I had a crush on this girl at school. And uh, it turns out she doesn't like you. And, uh, it, you know, so she she's never watched your videos. She just goes by what they say on Reddit. And so I know that it would have never worked out in any way. Right. Right, guys? One can... That's such a specific scenario. I know, but... But it's gotta happen once. I need to save someone from a miserable time with someone that uh, they realize is not good for them. Yes, I don't. I, okay, I'm just I'm just making fun of Reddit here. Okay, <laughs> just let me make fun of Reddit, guys. We are 30 minutes in. How many? How many? Uh, I filled 41 of these generalist trophy journals. That's not bad. What the? There's a horse there. What's this guy doing? That's these are my mobs now. Sorry. Spite- no, you're not- you're a battle bracer. You're using the wrong gauntlets for PvE. Sorry, man. I could- uh, let's see. I don't need to stop for a 4.1 mob. They're not really worth any money. They're not really. Unless you- you're directly farming them. Come on, let's go. There's a solo doongun. Solo doongun. Let's get in there. Get in that solo doongun. This guy is looking at me. Is he following me? Have we only gotten this? No, we got a Morgana dungeon once, but this is mostly the dungeon that we've been getting. And shock the little rock man. How does that even work? How does lightning magic work against rocks? I mean, I guess if it's like high voltage enough, you can maybe shatter the rock. I don't know how voltage works. I'm not an electrician. Don't ask me. I don't know how the world works. All I know is how to play Albion online. That's my only use in this entire world. I was born and bred... My entire purpose is just to make these videos for you to consume and know if something is worth doing or not. And I need to eat my cabbage soup because my health is quickly failing me. Uh, get that cool down. Get that cabbage soup in my gullet. And let's do another burning burning man run here. We run through. We give the, the giant dommy mommy a big old fiery hug. She falls over because um, she's just so happy that we gave her a nice fire hug. The stone is actually shooting lightning, so... Uh, I don't know how lightning would kill a stone that literally shoots lightning because the stone is built to withstand lightning. How does that work? Why am I questioning everything? Is that inter is this annoying or entertaining? Do people like this? I like this. Yay, a fountain boss. After 30 minutes, we finally found you. Now give me that fountain and let's go farm some open world mobs. All right, this is the whole meat and potatoes that we built up to. We got the... We get the silver buff. We get four times silver for the next three minutes and 20 seconds. So we got we got to make it count, boys. We got to make it count, lads. We got to go and farm these open world mobs like our life depends on it. Okay, starting out, we are at 31k silver in the guild bank. Let's go. We are using our super quick little... Uh, what is this mount? This is a lion... No, it's not a lion. It's a lizard. Lizard mount. Go ahead and grab those two piles, and that's an easy and quick... Uh, 878 each. Go ahead and smash this person. There we go. Grab another 800. Now what we need to find is a big cluster of upgraded mobs. And that is where the money is at. That's the true big juicer. And here's a single mob. Just give her the old punch. There we go. That's going to tally up 3k. Look at that. That is 10% uh, of everything we've earned in a single mob's death. So we, if we can find a nice little camp full of those, uh, we got it made. But... I am running into nothing here. Go ahead and give her the old one, two. And everything we're killing is as if we're killing four of them. So this is why it's worth it to stop for these single mobs. All right. And I didn't say single moms. I said single mobs. And punch. There we go. It's like we've killed eight of those already in just the span of, I guess, a minute. I don't know. I haven't been keeping time. Let's see. We need to find the big juicy mob camps, okay? We needs them. Like, Gollum needs his precious. Let's go. Downwards and aroundwards and... Just these single mobs, man. Come on, where's your husbandos? Where's where's the, where's the, the family? Okay, I don't need single mobs. I need 
big family. Let's just delete a whole family of, of dudes. We got three here. Okay, this is this is okay. Look at that. We even got a little item there. That's cool. We got a little staff. A little beady, beady staff. Smashy stick. Here's another nice little group. Let's get those all rounded up. Hit her with the taze. Pick up that silver. And away we go. The next... Next little mob pack there, and we are just moving right along. Need more upgraded mobs, though. These three random dudes and bird. Birds don't drop silver, but whatever. We can still one-shot them, so we might as well. There's a lot more solo dungeons now. Remember earlier on when we couldn't find any, and now we're finding all of them? It's kind of like that. That's just, that's just my luck. Unfortunately, we didn't get any big upgraded camps in this fountain run, but let's look at our silver in just a bit. And once it runs out, uh, it'll be impressive. Oh, it, hey, speaking of big camps, let's go. Not a lot of upgraded mobs, though. But it's still good. It's still good. Look at that. There's all of that silver just raining down into our wallets. You like to see it. I like to see it. Let's try to get at least one more big juicer pool before our buff runs out, and then we can check our earnings. I'm hyped for this. It'll be nice. It'll be good. Let's go. I'm hitting a dead end street here. It looks like... Oh no, look at this! Well, it's a it's a partially killed camp, and there we go. We dropped in, well, I dropped a 20k tome. That's not too bad. Okay, we earned... Look at that. We're up to 73,000. In that, in that three minutes, we doubled our money <laughs> from, from picking up stuff. Okay, it's uh, that's why they're so good. That's why those damn shrines are... That's why we leave the dungeon as soon as we get one, okay? That's not what I wanted to equip. That's why we leave the dungeon. And every time you see one, just hop on out. If it was a fame shrine, I would turn on my old satchel. I would turn on auto respec, and we would go fame farming and get the same similar whatever result. Now, I know for you gatherers out there, you're like, Ew, you only made like 40k in, in three minutes. And it's like, well... Yeah, so? So what? <laughs> hey, we're just out here filling tomes, you know. We're out here trying to get a nice jackpot from these dungeons, okay? We're just out here. We're, we're, we're being a little, little virtual wagey. And I'm going to not refresh my cooldowns because this might do it for me. Dang it. You, I hate... There's like two different types of red shrines. There's a red buff shrine, which is what I have on right now, that, you know does what it does and then there's one that refreshes your cooldowns there's a shrine up there but i have a fresh red buff and i'm not going to get rid of it for a 33 percent chance to keep it there's no reason for me to do that when i can just run through the mobs killing them all and just having a grand old day kill these dudes tase that one yep kill the ratties ratties go kill kill I don't know what I'm trying to say. And green chest. Look at that. That's a jackpot right there. 157,000. Well, it's 159,000. Okay. That's what we want to see. That was a green chest. Imagine if it was a purple or a legendary. Okay. Or even a blue one. You know, the blue ones could be, they could be okay too. So there we go. We got our nice little, uh, little jackpot. We're going to be doing this for about 22 more minutes. And then we're going to get a grand total of how much we earned. And, you know, there's people that are like, well, solo dungeons aren't really worth it. And yes, they aren't worth it when you compare it to back in the day. Back in the day, doing what I'm doing now would make me multiple millions per hour. And I'm not kidding. It seriously did. Because of the way the black market worked back in the day. Now, I don't know what exactly they changed or nerfed. But they don't like people making lots of silver because then people don't pay real money for premium. But the, here's the thing, like, I would never pay real money for premium anyway, and I don't think anyone I know ever would. Why would we? It's a it's a Kickstarter game that was made by, like, less than 10 people, and the game only has 80 employees now or something, I think. Yeah, I think SBI is only, like, 80 people. I mean, every time I put in a GM request to get unmuted, it's always the same game master. It's always the same dude. And, it, oh, speaking of... So, a long time ago, I was told by Game Masters in a ticket that if I were if I were to make a new account, I could talk on it. I would be able to speak on that new account. No problem, as long as I didn't break the rules. And I was like, okay, that sounds cool. And so, you know, on my alt accounts that you know, are crafters and have islands, I've always been able to talk on them. 
And I've never broken the rules. I've never went full aggro or went crazy mode. I've never pulled a Kanye or anything like that, okay? <laughs> uh, let's see, that's a 12k right there. About 13 if you round it up. Anyway, so, like, I, I checked in a few days ago, and um, it, it says my account has been muted, or my other accounts have been muted for mute evasion. And I'm like, what the hell is the deal with that? What is mute evasion? What did I do, right? And they're like, oh, well, you're not allowed to talk. It's simple. Uh, even if you make a new account, I'm like, bullcrap. I have a GM ticket that says I am allowed to talk um, if I make a new account. And I showed them, and they're like, well, nope, sorry, that's not what he meant. Uh, what the hell, dude? And <laughs> they even muted uh, like, accounts that I have never, ever once spoken on. Just accounts that I use to make focus crafters. Now, for those that don't... Bleh, I can't talk. For those that don't know what a focus crafter is, it's a character that you make and you let it sit for three days after doing the tutorial so it has 29,999 focus and then you craft with it or you refine with it and then you delete it. And it's a way to you it's a way to get focus without ever paying for premium essentially. It's it's uh it's it's still allowed, it's never been fixed. Um and they may they may fix it one day because they're really desperate for money. Like SBI is just like they're going broke. Like, their parent company that bought them lost $50 million last year across uh, Albin Online and all their games. All their other games are, are shitty, though. Like, they're really crappy phone games. So, <laughs> why does Stillfront own this game? Why? Do you would think some other developer or some other MMORPG enthusiast... Ooh, a shrine boss, maybe? Possible shrine boss? Let's open again. Yes. And it's Big Spencer. Guys... Who is Big Spencer's voice actor? Right in the beans. Right in the subscribe. We got a silver one. Let's go. <laughs> Back to the open world. We we, we go to farm the open world mobs. We shall. What was I talking about before the, the, the silver shrine? I don't remember. But whatever it was, it was probably pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Being muted by Game Masters. Yeah, you're muted for mute evasion. It's like, uh, what? You said I could talk, though. And they're like, nah. He didn't mean that, but it's it's like it was it was like a senior game master that said uh, that I couldn't talk, whereas it's just a regular game master that said I could. So maybe you know they made and, and the guy told me he's like, well, we do this to everybody. So it's like it's probably an, an IP based mute. It's probably not hardware based. I'm not gonna try it. I don't care. If I need to talk to someone in the game, I'll just ask someone in my Discord to like message a dude. But I never really talk anyway. Like, who am I gonna- what am I gonna talk about? Well, who am I gonna talk to? Hey, you! That I just ganked in the yellow zone and you have to wait three minutes to get back up? Yeah, you. What's up? And then they, they just speak in some other language that I don't understand. Like, that's another thing, too. It's like... I would- if I wasn't muted, I would talk a whole hell- Ooh, that's a boss, but that guy already has it below 50%, so I can't steal it. And he's a- what is he, bear- no, he's, he's a punchy boy. He's also a geared punchy boy. But if he goes down, he's so low on health. He's down to 388, and he's still... Is he gonna win this? No, yeah, he's gonna totally win that. Dude, he got low on health, though. I could've stole that. Ooh. Ooh, I could've stole that. If he, you know, failed, but he didn't. He obviously didn't. That would've been funny for the video, but, you know, you... You can't always get those Kodak moments, you can't get those precious little moments where people mess up and you get really, just really good footage. You have to be recording all the time, forever. And that's, that's a pain in the butt. It really is. Okay, we, uh, we're not really getting a lot of use out of this because I don't have the mob spawns mapped out. If I did, I would be able to just beeline it to them. Is this, this is stealable. <laughs> Yoink, it's my, it's my kill now. I did all the damage. There you go. <laughs> Sucks for you, dog. What are you, uh... And there's an item, too. And see, now, if I could chat, I could be like, ooh, wow, 100k. <laughs> just make the dude feel bad, right? Uh, and he's a skinner. What's he doing solo and mobs, man? A little tier 5 flat skinner. I saved him the trouble. That's right. I am the trouble saver, man. Just go and duke it out with that dude. And, yeah, you can be like, oh, you're so busy, you're, you're a jerk, you stole his kill. Just because he was there first doesn't mean it's his. That's, that's the law of the land, man. Have you never seen, like, nature documentaries where, like, lions, like, one lion will hunt a gazelle or something, and then, like, six hyenas show up, and it's like, well, I'm not that hungry. You can have them, boys. And then the hyenas eat good that night. That's Albion. That's what Albion Online is. 
All right, you could be a lion. I'm the lion, but when I go to the black zone, it's all the hyenas. That, that, that's what. That's exactly what it is. Uh, you're just surrounded by hyenas constantly. And they just roll up on you. It's like, hey, we're we're ten hyenas. What are you gonna do about it? Okay, how much silver did we earn from that? We're at 130k. Look at that. It's not. It's not looking too bad. You know, we're look. We got some. We got two back-to-back -back solo dungeons here. As long as no one steals it, we don't have to go looking for another one. So that's cool. That's pretty neat. Let's see how much we can earn from this one. We have 15 more minutes of farming, and we will check our results. Yeah, we will. And I'm not picking that silver. Ooh, red buff. Are we going to get red buff? Let's go, red buff. Well, whatever. Can't win every time, right? Don't be mad at the RNG. It did, it's trying its best. I wish you could pick, you know, just let us, you know, you know what would be really cool if the shrine buffs, you know how that new armor lets you like, uh, rotate between three different actives that the new cloth armor, you can pick lightning, fire or earth or whatever, right? Let the shrine buffs do that. Like the shrine buff lights up green. It's the green buff. Then it lights up blue. It's the blue buff and just rotates. That would be such an easy change to implement. And it would be really cool for solo dungeoneers. Like, no one runs solo dungeons anymore, so they'll probably not do it. Is this a fame tome? It is. I don't need to touch that boss. It is a fame tome boss. You almost tricked me. I'm not falling for it, though. I refuse. All right, we got another chance at a, at a freaking at a fountain here. Okay. This is second chance fountain mode. Let's go. What do we get? We got another green buff. Oh. Oh, it hurts. Stop it with the green buffs, man. I don't need these greens. These green buffs, they do they do me no favors. Oh, they're, you absolutely want them if you're being invaded, of course. Yeah, if someone invades your dungeon in like a black zone and you get a green buff, it's a free win. They can't kill you. They just can't kill you. That's just how it is. That's just... It's, it's, it's super good to have. And if you're a spammy build, like I'm a spammy build, and you have a blue buff, it's still pretty good for PvP. Assuming your ganker isn't like... You know, there isn't five of them, and they're all in, like, Death Givers and, and double double dagger builds, and what is that? You always have the guy that roots you, the double-bladed staff user, yeah. Yeah, just five of those pile into a dungeon and just murk you. You know, dungeon ganking is actually super easy nowadays, thanks to people being extremely lazy. Like, <laughs> I thought about making a video on it, I honestly did. And for people that made it this far into to this video, I'll go ahead and spoil it. You know, it's, um, you, you just, so you sit in the, in the portal zones, you use the invisibility shrine, and you sit next to a dungeon. As soon as you see someone enter the dungeon, you can do a little countdown in your head. Most people don't. And then you just invade the dungeon, and most people will fight you. They, they won't run away. If they try to run, and is that a, is also a fame boss. I don't want the fame bosses. That's why I'm not killing them. Because they're useless. Even the purple one was pretty damn useless. Like, ugh. Uh, but yeah, it, it makes dungeon ganking super, super easy, and you can get so many kills doing it, too. Um, but another, uh, uh, you can do the opposite. You can let someone witness you entering the dungeon in, like, a crappy set, and as soon as you load in, you just switch your set. And, uh, <laughs> and then you just kill them, because they'll come in. They'll come in swinging. It's, it's, it's pretty dastardly. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun to do. Uh, but sometimes if you play during off hours, like a lot of the times I play, it's during off hours. And so I can't find people ever because, and you know, that's my fault, right? For playing during off hours and all, but that's, I don't know. That's why I do a lot of solo activities, a lot of farming, grinding activities is because I just play during off hours when everyone's sleeping. And, oh, I hate this boss. This boss, even with maximum, well, it's no longer maximum. It's 8.3 is now... Peasant tier gear. It's still it's still an annoying ass boss because he brands you, he, he burns you, he interrupts you, you can't A out of the dungeon for a while. He does this stupid knockback attack that is like super impossible to dodge. Unless you're standing right the trick is to stand on top of him. You have to stand under like under his legs. This is a 12k chest. It's not that great. Okay, now I can A out. I got what is this? We got 12 minutes remaining on our food buff. And then we will tally the results of our farming. Now, let's see if that other dungeon is gone. It it moved over. <laughs> uh, someone someone ran it. Uh, I think. I don't know. Like Because I swear they were close closer to each other, right? 
Anyway, let's swap back to our dungeon gear and go in for another rousing round of solo dungeons. Yeah, man. Rousing round. I don't know where I come up with this stuff. How much fame did you make? Well, none. Well, you make you make residual combat fame credits. I don't know. You can rewind the video and check it yourself. I didn't bother. I don't care. I don't really have anything to level anyway. I don't even know what to level up anymore. Like, I don't need to level anything. Just, like, wait for new new weapon to come out, level that up. It'll probably be good or probably be meta. Like, the only weapons left are, like, support weapons or, like, weird group like weapons and I don't get to do either of those kind of contents so it's what's the point no I'll just wait until something gets reworked and then dump all my points into that and see what happens or something I don't know I don't know guys what do you think I should max out what should what, like and yes you can be like well you're not maxed out you're not level 120 dude and it's like that's a huge waste of combat fame credits okay yeah I could I could put 20 more points into this light crossbow and it's I'm not gonna see a difference in damage you'll see a minor difference you'll see a very tiny little sprinkle of damage okay let's see what we get here we got uh, this 8k why are the green chests paying out more today than the other chests why have I not gotten any purples chest did I get a purple chest I don't think I've gotten a purple chest today that's very unusual we've been doing this nearly an hour and no purple chest we got a purple tome chest we don't want those those are those are no no gucci no no bueno <laughs> what does bueno mean like i know it's a candy like kinder bueno kinder is it mean yes kinder yes i don't what whatever i don't know other language is too difficult even English too difficult. There was like an entire like Facebook post of people talking about how they want to learn to speak English by watching Albion online YouTubers that speak English. And someone was like, well, Soul Benji speaks English. Like, do I? Do I speak English? I, I, I know thinky me speaky English good, but that's just me. I'm going to run past that, that group of mobs because um, I don't need to kill them. Right? I can just run past them. And continue farming. Yeehaw. Taze the rock monsters. They deserve it. And that's what they get for being made of stone. For being rock hard all the time. You know? Just gotta, just gotta teach them a lesson. Go ahead and blow that one up. You, you gotta you gotta look at the the, cro the light crossbow. Just crossbows in general. The the second Q spell. You're, you're shooting a rocket launcher. Look, that is a rocket launcher. You are shooting an explosive incendiary device. Maybe not incendiary. I don't know, because there's no fire damage, like, damage over time. But yeah. We are a man with a rocket launcher, a taser, and uh, we exude flame out of our cloak, our, our armor, right? So what what the heck are we? We're some sort of flame rocket lightning trooper. We're like all... Ooh, purple chest. We were just talking about you. All right, let's go. Nature. I'm going to stand in the fire. I am the fire. I was born in it. And just completely... I'm not even getting my, my crossbow combos today. I don't care. Uh, this is only 26k. Why even bother? Why even bother being a purple chest at all, bro? Feels bad, man. But yeah, like, Command & Conquer, I miss that game so much. That was a fun game back in, like, growing up and stuff. It was just a, it was just a good, wholesome, fun game. But if you, if you played that online, it was miserable. You had to spam light tanks or you lost every match. Or there was some stupid cheese where someone sells their base at the start of the round and rushes you with an engineer and takes over your whole base. Like, really? <laughs> like, you're gonna do that? Oh, man. And, and and then it got really autismal with the, uh... You, you get a bunch of rocket troopers and you put them in an APC and you unload and reload them to spam rockets quickly or some shit. Like, it just got dumb. It just got really, really stupid. But, but hey, it was fun, though, and memorable. So, I'll give it that. You know, you make the little Tesla coils and then they go... And then they like fry anybody that comes near your base. That was a lot of fun. I would, as a kid, I would just build like 30 of those towers and then let my machine AFK and just listen to like the computer soldiers slowly feed like machine gun, you know, infantry into it and die forever. 
<laughs> the entire map would be out of resources. Uh, the computer would, like, have no money left for anything unless you put it on the harder difficulty so they would cheat and get, like, passive money somehow. And, uh, yeah, fun times playing Command and & Conquer. And I believe that's, like, Red Alert 2 or something that had the Tesla troopers, Tesla coils, shot troopers, the flame flamethrower dudes. I don't know. But that's what we are. We are a walking rocket launcher. To, that was me. That little dink noise was me. Don't worry. Uh, we are a, a walking one-man army. We have the flamethrower. We have the taser. We have the rocket launcher. Rocket launcher! I used to really enjoy the Metal Slug games. And then as I got older, I was like, man, these games suck. Sorry. Sorry, Metal Slug fans. I don't, I don't think they're that good of a game anymore. They're just a quarter-munching arcade game. Or Neo Geo game. I don't. What came first? Were they an arcade game or a Neo Geo game first? I don't remember. Dude, does anyone even know what a Neo Geo is in my fan base? Are you even that old? <laughs> Are you old enough to know what a Neo Geo is? Hopefully, some of you. I never had one because those things were expensive and rare. Okay. I only get the last gen uh, consoles. So like, whenever the PlayStation came out, I, I was like just getting a Super Nintendo, and and yeah, occasionally I would have like people that would you know bring one over, or I would know a guy that has one or something, but it's not the same. There is a hostile player near me? Oh, in the corner. What do you got going on? Is that a- that is a purple enchanted- that's, that's mine, fuck you. I'll fight you over this. This is mine. Hey, yeah, hey. This is mine now. I'm gonna camp you. Hello, YouTube. Yes, you're on a video. Cool. Yes. I- I will fight you. I will absolutely fight you over this 5-3 enchanted mobs. Please no, haha. -ha. Please no. It's mine now. I brought my skinny- I even have my skinny knife with me. You know what? I'll switch to a more- You know what? I'll stop attacking you. And then I'm gonna switch to my crossbow to kill you with it. <laughs> I learned this from you. <laughs> what? I'm waiting to get out of combat, bro. I'm not being friendly here. Hello, YouTube. Yes, yes. You are the man that had your, 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 sto your thing stolen. Unless you got a friend nearby that's gonna come help you out. Come on. Out of combat. Let's go. And switch to this. Uh, I don't need cleanse, but why not? And, uh, there we go. We got a minute left on this. And, uh, get out of here. Go on, shoot. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Why are you... What are you doing? Caltrops. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, I'll get a free kill too. Why not? No, don't do it. I'm a virgin. And dismounted. Sorry, you're probably overweight too. I lost you, Benji. Well, why are you flagged as Mar- If you truly loved me, you would be a bridge watch bro. But no, you chose Martlock. Yoink. 283 tax. 30 more seconds. Oh, he's an arch too. He's in a- He's in a freaking clan. He's in- Not only, not only is he a clan man. Okay, people that watch me, they know not to join clans. They know not to join guilds. <laughs> Uh, no sympathy. I'm sorry. Okay, a little bit of sympathy. Just a little bit, man. But, you know, big ol- I don't even have gathering gear on, right? So this thing is gonna go to complete waste. But hey, it's- you know, kill its baby, too. Are terror birds and moa birds even related? I don't know, but let's see how much money this makes us. Uh, still this man's 5-3. There's two hits on it, look at that. As one and two. How much money did we make from this? We made 40,000. Was that worth it? Was it worth the guilt, guys? <laughs> was it worth... Was it worth the sorrow? Or was it worth the friends that we didn't make along the way? <laughs> uh, I still got some food buff left, so we're still gonna farm for three more minutes. Okay, that's what we're doing. What's what's our faction points looking at? 8,809. We, we're into a little under 4,000, I think, doing this. It's not the best, but it's something. Hey, hey, man. For the cost of that 5-3, you made it in the video, dude. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm sure he's gonna go leave a comment that's like, You killed me and stole my skin! You killed me, why would you do that? Well, you, um, you signed up for, for Marlock, dude. If you were in Bridgewatch, that would have been yours. Nothing I could have done about it, but, but you weren't. Sorry, man, like, for reals. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we need to find freaking Solo Dungeon. And uh, we can probably we can probably run one more solo dungeon in the three minutes that we got at least one floor, okay? Or we can just farm open world mobs for for our remainder, you know, just be 
Just sad little open world mob farmer. Oh, that's a big, that's a nice little cluster. Let's go ahead and grab them. Yeah, just punch them all up and then punch them. That easy. That is a whispering bow, tier five. Not bad. Nice little bonus. B -b 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 bonus Bonus items. A lot of item drops today, I feel like. More than usual. Not so much in the chests, but from the from the mobs. Yeah, I'm feeling it, man. I'm I'm feeling it. Okay. And punch. Look at that person on a bunny rabbit. They are bunny rabbiting around. I don't see the point of the bunny mount. Like it's just a crappier version of the um frost ram, and it costs millions. I mean, I guess it's a small, inconspicuous little bunny, right? Maybe if you're a fan of Bugs Bunny or something. I don't know, man. Whatever happened to that freaking fighting game uh, with the WB characters? Uh, what is it called? Uh, Multiversus. Yeah, yeah. That game died so fast. How many people? I gotta see how many people were playing it. Uh, Steamcharts.com. I know. I'm like literally not playing the game right. Okay. Multiverse. And I know it's multiple console. Okay. There's 3,000. Oh, what the fuck are you? You're killable. You have no mount either. What the heck? Are you, you? You hit me. You can't. You're in, you're in combat, bro. I missed that. I, I I didn't hit him. Oh no, that's I I missed. Oh, what the heck? Okay, the fight continues. <laughs> uh, why did he zone out? He zoned out whenever I zoned. Dude, that's next level meta shit. <laughs> oh, punch and slide and kick and punch. Oh, now he's fighting. It's too late now. Oh, he's got backup. He's got backup. That's okay. Wait. He, the, he, <laughs> that guy could take me. That guy could have took me. But he didn't. Whatever. Okay. Well, it's been one hour. Yeah, Multiversus. Technical test. Multiversus only has 870 people playing. Oh my god, that game died like crazy. What the, f what the hell happened? There's more people doing the technical test than the game. What is... How? That game had hundreds of thousands of players, like, a couple months ago. What caused it to die? Did they never balance it or something? Was there cheaters? What happened? Someone's- Does- Is anyone in the comments know what happened? I wanna kill- I just wanna kill this pack. I just wanna kill this pack and then we'll go home and we'll- we'll- Ooh! <laughs> I'm so glad I killed that pack! 53,000 from a tier 5-2 bag. Look at that. It feels good. Okay. Let's- let's- let's look at how much we earned. Okay. In total. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and repair. We're gonna take, maybe take that off of our total. I don't know yet. What a what an interesting day in Albion. We uh, we beat up a guy. We stole his skin. We beat up another guy. I messed up, but he messed up too, and it ended up working out. Twenty thousand silver on repairs. That's pretty easy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put away all my uh, my fame tomes, my generalist trophy journals. You you get it, okay? And then we're going to see how much we earned doing this for one hour. This is one hour of tier 5 solo dungeons and open world mobs. Okay. And while I'm not being hyper efficient, I'm being casually efficient, which is good enough. Okay. Put away put away our spare equipment here. And... Oh, damn. Did I really make a mil... Oh, no. Wait. Yeah. It says I made a million. <laughs> really? I didn't think I made a million. There's no way. Did I? It doesn't feel like I did. Okay, what else do I need? I'm put away the fame tomes. There we go. Oh, yeah, this this is a 909. Is there really another? I'm just making sure I put all my, my stuff away. None of this is stuff I brought out with me, right? Yeah, that's 156,000. What the hell am I getting a million? That's 40k. That's 40k. Oh, yeah, yeah. My gathering tools. Duh, my Avalonian gathering tools. I was going to say, like, what the hell? Okay, that's a, that's a believable number. 420 blazing. <laughs> okay, so we made 420,000 silver off of gear. We made 71,000 off of silver. And we made 100 Oh, I got um faction points for killing that dude. 138,000 silver picked up off the ground. And I'm a windwalker now. Hell yeah. I didn't think I was about to rank up. That's uh that's cool. Uh that is that's is neat that I got that on camera. So yeah, we, we, we've been a Myrmidon for like a year. Now we're a Windwalker. Now, the sad thing is that this decays. If I don't keep playing this game, my rank will go back down to Myrmidon, which is fine. Myrmidon rank is as low as it gets, and you can still buy all the tier 8 crap with it. It's fine. It's totally cool. Oh, we have enough faction points for um, a prize. 
right? But I'm not going to factor that bleh, factor that into our earnings. So we have 138, 139,000 if you want to round it up. 71,000 there. We'll say 70 plus 138, right? That's, uh, that's at least 200,000 and then 420. So we made 620,000 in one hour, which is terrible. Terrible, 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 awful, awful, awful. If you double, if you half that, we made 300 something thousand uh, in 30 minutes, which if you've watched some of my previous videos, a brand new player harvesting rough stone in the tutorial makes just as much silver. So is this worth doing if you're not doing it for fame? Hell no, it is not worth doing. Don't farm open world mobs if you just want money. Don't farm solo tier 5 dungeons if you just want money. It sucks. It's stupid. You're wasting your time. I could have done gathering and made this amount of money in half the time. So, yeah. Um, there you go. That's the video, guys. I'm Soul Binge. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Uh, <laughs> leave a like. You can leave a comment as well. I read every single comment. I may not reply to all of them, but I do read all of them. Okay. Uh, let's look at the most recent comment that someone left me. And that is... Um, Let's see. Looking forward to member content. Very cool. Uh, another top secret way, crafting, uh, let's see, food without focus. Uh, okay, cool, cool. So someone's giving tips in my comment section, very neat. Anyway, that's just a few of the comments that people left. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and buy one of these just because I like to open me a chest on the on the, on the the video. That is 250,000 fame, 30K, that's 20K, that's five. That's not the best. So this whole this whole video, you know, definitely cherry picked on the lower end, um, except for a few of those nice drops towards the end there. But regardless, guys, uh, videos every single day on this channel. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow's video. On the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click by Google. Go ahead and click it. It's a good one. And also, there's a Discord link in the description. If you want to play with me, do group dungeons with me, then feel free to join the Discord, okay? And also, uh, feel free to become a channel member. Uh, click the join button down below. It's five bucks a month. It's just like subscribing to someone on Twitch. If, you, if you're a guy that goes to Twitch and you subscribe to people, you pay that five bucks a month there. Why not do it here on YouTube? YouTube is cooler, but the cooler thing also is that you get something out of it. You get private, more personal videos, and you get videos that I decide that they're too good for the public. Like, I've got a lot of guide videos that are members only. They're way too good for the public because it would totally wreck the economy or ruin the money making for everybody. So it's basically just a members only thing. Uh, there's a playlist in the pinned comment. So go ahead and check that out if you would like. And uh, with that said, I'll see you tomorrow's video. Click the, click the video on the right side of the screen right now. It's a good one. I'll see you then. Take care and mwah.